Okay. Now then, let's have a quick gander. To build our machine shop, we now have everything we need. We are going to need to build it nearby where we're making metal. So, you know, that stands to reason, really. Uh, but it doesn't necessarily need to be this deposit. We could set up a new um, industrial area just over here. But this then comes down to where we get the materials. As long as we're not trying to sell the materials, it doesn't actually matter. Um, we could just store them in barns and be good with that. Um, we've got a little bit over there. Oh, we've got a lot of iron down here. This is a, a good potential, and we've already got a decent amount of infrastructure there. I'm actually quite happy with it, but I would love to 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 spread out over here a little bit. There are mana shards there, so maybe this would be a potential magical expansion later on. Um, and instead, we should push up maybe onto this mountain. I'm really enjoying having having little little things dotted around the mountains. I think it gives a, a lot of character to the area that we've got. Have you played this game much, Bentham? I definitely think it's uh, a game you would enjoy if you haven't. I'm fairly certain I've seen you play it, though. Either that or it was someone who was wearing your face. Bloody doppelgangers. There we are. We'll just smooth the top. Just so we've got a bit of a better area to build from. Maybe just cut that a little bit more into an angle. There we go. Oh, Bentham has played the ass out of this game. Yeah, I, I, I figured that would be the case, honestly. Right. So, if we're going to set that up, we need to know what we're going to be building with our new building. So let's uh, get the machine shop down. Uh, oh. oh, haven't got enough population capacity, of course. Uh, do we have many more houses that we can upgrade for cheap? Yes, we do. Excellent. Let's go ahead and bite the bullet and upgrade all of them then. There we are. Because then it's going to get really expensive. Right, we want a machine shop, please, and indeed, thank you. And we'll pump it right about there, we'll do. Dunk. Right, let's have a look at you. We can make metal conveyor belts. I am in no hurry to do so. We can make the iron wheels, just about two plates, and gears. Oh, okay, well, that's actually not bad. Huh. Um, I mean, they're faster than the cloth conveyors. But I don't, we're, we're nowhere near saturating any belt that we've got. So I would say the only thing of value here is to make the metal wheels so that we can then move on to making the caravans. Uh, the cargo boats, oh, we can already make one. Um. There's just not, no real reason to do it. I mean, this is such a nice building. I, I'm, I'm reticent to pe tear it down. Uh, was there a fishery already unlocked? Or are we currently unlocking that? Yeah, we need to uh, research fishery. Yeah, we'll get to it in a little bit, but that's fine. Hey, Jaratan, how you doing, mate? Been a long while. Right. Let's go ahead and build up our forge. Going to want this. Um, can actually have the forge just here, feeding into the factory directly. And two small silos, then, to uh, offer me some Level of resource backlog. One here, one there. You will be for iron ore. You can be for coal. And we'll just get these set up. Uh, 
Actually, why don't we do something more along the lines of this? Have them run down towards the uh, the forge. I think that will actually look quite nice. Okay. Now then, once we can, we will build a harvester drill. That's going to take a little bit more time to set up, so for the time being, we'll just get two peeps. One moving coal, the other moving iron ore. There we are. Now, I would like for you to only be producing iron plates up here. And that iron plate, which I'm fairly certain cannot move. Yeah, cannot move via conveyor can instead move direct via... Uh, sorry, uh, shoot can move direct via conveyor. There we go. And in that case, I do want gears as well. Because eventually we're going to want those uh, mining drills in place of you guys. But for the time being, this is good enough. Let's go ahead and build two barns. One, two. We're only producing two things. I'll I'll make another machine shop if I need something more than this. Uh, iron wheels and gears. I I love that tune. This tune is the the music that basically got me into the game. I guess it's the the first. Um, the first sounds that I, I heard in the game, and I, I don't know, it just it brings back lots of uh, kind of nostalgia memories. It, it, not even like I've been playing it for that long, or is it a super old game? But it, it just, I think it recaptures the uh, the fun I had when I was just first discovering how this game worked. There we go. Everything is set up as it needs to be. Perfect. With that, it won't be long. It is really pleasant music. That's that's right, Mango Pop. It it sounds of happy. Just not any any particular kind of happy. Like sometimes there's certain flavors of happiness, but this is just. It's not particularly upbeat, but it, it's it's got a, a sort of a casual optimism about it. Like it's not having to try to be optimistic. It just is. And that's really nice. Uh, I, I do need to check out Banish again. I keep getting told that, that so much has changed. All right, books are on their way. How are we doing with uh, reading materials here? Oh, shouldn't be too bad, actually. What's the, what's the holdup? It's definitely not the the leather, it's the paper. Oh, there we go. Steam generator, steam pipe, steam connector, and a steam pipe. All available now. Yeah, it's the, the paper. Why am I not also making planks? Most curious. However, I need a lot more people working here. So, crack on. Please and thank you. There we go, that'll be a bit better. There we are. Right. Now that that's done. It's time for the fishery, I think. You see, there is only one song that has my current attention for the time being. It's about a coin and some kind of Witcher? <laughs> uh, yes, leave it. Surprising. I, I, I may, I may, I may be familiar with the tune. I may have even hummed it from now and then. I may possibly have uh, have pasted the lyrics onto Twitter uh, on occasion. You know, as one does. 
completely completely without any any malice or, or intent to to get earworms stuck in people's heads no not me there we go now I want another one because we want one more thing being made that is steam pipes uh, right okay so wait oh, uh, gonna need to be careful about this one uh, this one needs to be wheels and I'm going to need this one to be steam pipes yeah perfect marvelous one might say Oh, you're going to be a bit of a pain, aren't you? Right. Rotate it. Preemptive rotation. Bonk. There we go. There we are. Marvellous. Now, it's going to take a fair while to get everything through there, unfortunately. But... Oh, I'm being a drip. Not bad. Yunk. Now, the problem here is that the gear wheels are going to be made first most of the time. Because there's just going to be that much more um, iron available for the gear wheels. So they're just going to be available in the right kind of uh, amounts for the gear wheels. Hmm. Yeah, we need to get one of those harvester drills quite badly. There you go. Ah, uh, thanks, Angiri. I appreciate the heads up, mate. We've actually made a good bit of progress. Mind you, we've taken us five hours to get here. But we've got a wonderful little, little town bu uh, building up. I'm glad we, t we decided to move the residential area early. Because that's just allowed this little area to expand out a bit. And I'm really liking the uh, the distinct little industrial centres. That's actually pretty cool. I really, really am enjoying that. Right, how are we doing here? Is the second one going to come in time? Yes, iron wheels getting made. Perfect. So they're going to be alternating. Nice. What are we doing here? We've got three. Uh, I believe we need four for the... Caravan? Yes. Now, before I spend that, before I do it, before I allow it to be done. Oh, really? Stockpiling? Really? No. Also, no. How dare. I want you to offload. I want you to offload. And once you're done, we're going to be saying goodbye to you. Because I would very much like to see one of these things in action. How much can they carry is the big question on my lips. That being said, moving uh, planks across over here might be a good option too. Hmm. Maybe. But no, I, th I think I think I. This is something I haven't built yet, so I'm really desperate to know how it works. So let's build one of these. Wow, what? How? Why has it got an area of effect? What? Huh? Do regular wagons have an area of effect? Oh, they do. Never mind. Ha. Huh. Uh, okay, we're good. So I want you to move. Could you move both? Can I tell you to move? Well, you've got multiple inventory slots that can all grab different things. Can I tell you to grab everything that I could pick up from this place and then move it all somewhere else? Oh, grab all medicine and grab all beef, no, fish, chicken, 
basic foods. Uh, meats, I guess meats would work. Um, what's a calendar? When we have a look over here, let me let me have a look at this. So, let me have a look in here. Don't think. Yeah, I, I would imagine it's just classed as as fish. I don't necessarily want you picking up the wrong thing though. So. Fish, cooked fish. I'm gonna assume this is all fish. Right. Okay. I would like you to Ah, uh, see this is the problem, is you're gonna only be able to deliver to one area, aren't you? Let's see how it works though. We'll give it just a, a various order like that and we'll see how it goes. Dunk. Okay, let's grab all the fish oil, all the cooked fish. Let's move it all in one go. And now it's gonna just keep grabbing fish oil, so not what I wanted. All right, um, drop off. Go on me. Can I cook anything else here, I wonder? Is there anything else I could supply to this place to have this wagon pick up? Because that's ultimately what we could do now, is the wagon just can just load up in lots of things. Deliver everything. Is there a way that I could have it just... Oh, no, there's the fishery. Okay, well, deliver everything to... the food market. That was the wrong click. Let's see if it's intelligent enough not to pick up the... Yeah, it's only picked up things that it could deliver to the food market. So that's fine. I mean, it's not bad. It can carry many times a wagon. So we'll just observe that for a little bit. It doesn't clock the roads up as much, which is very nice. But yeah, that means that I could have one kitchen with multiple types of foods serviced by one caravan, which would then drop off at a single food market. But it could carry like a lot of one type of product or many different types of products. I could I could specify that it could only carry eight of each type. Thanks, Jote. Well, that'll do for me for now. I'm happy with that doing its thing. Uh, there are a couple of other places where we can trade them out. How's this barn doing right now? Uh, for example, we've got this wagon here and I believe this wagon. I'm here, you. Don't need you doing that anymore. Dunk. Instead, I have one caravan. A bit more expensive, but it can carry a heck of a lot more. Okay, that wagon is not going to have to come back for another trip for a long time. That's amazing. Uh, okay, I'm really liking that, actually. 
So at this point, we're basically just upgrading everything. Now I need a lot more iron plates because I just used up a lot. Um, yeah, this is the problem. <laughs> it uses so much more. And the barn with the nails is filling up, and eventually that will fill completely, and then we'll just be stockpiling the iron bars. But for the time being, that's going to be a little ways off. Still, that's quite nice. We've unlocked fishery, though. Now, next up would be railways. Crack on with that. And... Uh, no, I'm not going to upgrade that. No, 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 no. We're going to hold off on that one. Spiffing Brit doesn't break games. Perish the thought. He just proves how balanced they are. Right. Just because the balance that Spiffing Brit finds is not the one intended by the developers is neither here nor there, frankly. They were just short-sighted. Okay, we have got, yeah, we're almost done with the nails now, very nice. <laughs> but the problem is, the iron's going to go straight out and straight into making more reinforced, um, reinforced planks, which is not exactly what I need. Mean. I guess I'm going to have to grab a couple more of you to help with all of the iron I need. There we go, that should help a bit. What are we doing over here? Yeah, iron is still and consistently the problem for me. Maybe I just need somewhere that is purely producing iron. Let's have a look at my buildings. Could make a fishery. Produces fish from nearby water tiles. Tempting. Quite tempting. However, I do need some more peeps, which is frustrating, but ugh, it's going to set me back a bit, but alternatively, I could just build another house, which at this stage, I'm going to say is the smarter play. Ah, no, I just went all the way. Ah, the scallywags. Why? Such levels of scallywaggery. Oh well. Smart to play, my bum. On the plus side, though, 10 new peeps. So, uh, I guess. Alright. Uh, Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, Chagall, thank you so much. Oh, hey! Five's a number. <laughs> Indeed it is. Welcome back, mate. Thank you so much for the five months of support. Uh, you arrived just in time to see my derpitude. I'm sure for all the world to see. Uh, oh, thank you very much, Multiplex Monster, for the Twitch Prime. That's very, very kind of you, mate. Right, well, we've got enough peeps now that we could set up a little forge over here purely to stockpile some iron plates but we've already got iron plates being stockpiled it's just this would be an additional stockpile for it and we have got this after all i mean maybe yes i think so so we're going to remove some resources from this area i need the area enough to set this up one two three one two three sure that would work let's drive it back just a little bit more there we go This is going to be a, a ridiculously large barn for iron plates because they are so annoyingly difficult to gather in any significant um, number. I wish the other barns themselves upgraded in appearance as well when you upgraded them. That would actually be quite cool. Though how you'd make the barn look more 
fantabulous, I don't know, but uh, nevertheless, I, st I do wish it would. Uh, right, let's place down a nice little conveyor belt there. I would like you to be making iron plates, and only iron plates, forever. Uh, I will take... Oh, thank you. Can I get you? There we go. One, two. You may move trees into there for me. And you may move iron into there for me. There you go. Marvelous. Now that iron won't be being used for anything else. Eventually this will stockpile. And that will be grand. But uh, until that time, we're going to be very iron poor. Right. The iron harvest is drilled. Yeah, it's the 20 iron that we're waiting on. And in fact, that's uh, very much the same for the others. Uh, once I've got the iron harvest drill, I'll build one over here so that it can make much faster work of gathering this iron here. Hopefully. We'll see how that goes. Uh, where are we in terms of... Yes, we need to get railways before we can do mining, and then depot, and then all prospecting. Oh, my God. Um, jewelry, magic jewelry. We've actually got a long way to go. My goodness, they've added a lot. It's marvellous, though. I really like it that the game is getting so much more content all the time. There we go. Starting to stockpile iron. Brilliant. Right, we've already got 20 iron plates, so that means we can build our harvester drill, I believe. Yes, we can. Uh, where do we want to build it? Uh, over here. Yoink. Well, that looks great. I want you to drill that over there. Now, you're going to have to navigate around all the peeps, I know, but uh, it's fine. Are you, are you drilling? Oh, it was, it was that simple. Womp. Okay, well, I don't need you there anymore. Nor do I really need you. Honestly, you're just getting in the way. This thing's amazing. Can we run a stone road up there? Oh, we can. There we go. There's no reason to have, have one for coal. Oh, we're stockpiling iron. Happiest of days. Truly. This is wonder lovely. We are actually stockpiling iron ore. I never thought this day would would come, but here we are. All right, okay, so I want another eight of those. <laughs> Maybe not quite that many. Uh, one will do for now. Please move stuff around. All right, everyone else who's in that uh, mining drills way must now leave. Sorry, but it, them's the rules. Two of these will outperform pretty much all of you, so... Need another eight iron to make this work, but that's fine. There we go. New research available, mining. And unlock the minecart. Ah, ha, ha, automation. You are so close. So close. Right, let's get mining on the go. Donk. Now, I've not played with mining at all. Uh... Deep mining. Research allows placement of mine shafts that can produce resources from depleted mineral nodes. Okay, mine shaft. Supply pickaxes. Uh, you now give pickaxes to a mine to improve it, which is glorious. It allows digging for specified ores and minerals in otherwise empty mining shafts. So you really want to go down the uh, mining routes to get much uh, more access to uh, useful abilities, it seems. Right, there you go. Crack on. Enjoy. Now, if we don't build mines over here, then these will eventually deplete. So we do need to get that up and running really fast. Oh, so fast. We'd need stone and planks to be able to get the rails, but it might be worth us doing eventually. We'll see. We can always move the industries around as need be. Um... It's one of the nice things about this game. You, you can sort of soft lock yourself, but for the most part, you never really have to worry about it. You're not realistically going to be able to do that. How are we doing over here? 
reasonably good. What is the slowdown? It is a lack of production, I would say. So let's pop a couple of extra people in there. Get those being spewed out a little bit faster. All right. Hey, Tiger, how are you doing? I'm going to need to get more remotes. If I do nothing else this year, I will get more remotes done. Hopefully, I will do many other things than get emotes done this year. But if nothing else, emotes will be done. Right. I think that's about where we're going to wrap up this stream. We've been going for... Yeah, just coming up to five and a quarter hours. It is now very early in the morning for me. It's uh, 20 to 4, and I do need to get a bit of sleep. Uh, I hope you've all enjoyed, though. I have. This will be going up on YouTube, of course, and uh, if you are watching in YouTube land, and I hope you have been enjoying watching in YouTube land, I will try to clean it up a little bit and, uh, you know, do the, the old uh, post-processing stuff that I do for YouTube VODs here and there, Heather and Yon. But uh, that is going to be it for the Twitch side of things. I hope you've all had a wonderful night, and once again, I hope you're all having an amazing 2020. 